Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today I've got part 3 of my Forerunner ring installation build videos. In part 1 I snapped it together piece by piece, in part 2 I did a full review on why you should buy this set, and today I decided to do something that I think is on everyone's minds, combining two four and a ring installations. And I am absolutely sure that eventually we will have four of them, but my girlfriend built up a second one last night, and this morning I did a lot of tinkering around, and this is what I produced. Whoa. This is two four and a rings merged together. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna do a lot more tinkering in the future. I thought I'd show you the build progress right now, and then maybe I'll do some more update videos in the future, I mean, look at this thing. It, it's really, like, I, I didn't think it would come together so well, so quickly. I saw a lot of people online complaining that it was actually quite hard to do, but this is two of them together, and I've made sure to vary the terrain pieces a lot, so it doesn't feel like it's just two of the exact same one. First of all, I'll show you through the base plate and how I put this together. The original Forerunner ring installation is four translucent base plates. This one is six. I gave it a little more support with these big long bricks through sort of the middle. I've also added, I like this new little sentinel I designed. He's just a cute little design there. There are a lot of ways. I don't even know if they're sentinels or like small buildings, like small citadels. I don't even know, but I built another one there. I kept the Halo Infinite base plate in the same place, I thought it was perfect there. And the main difficulty was because I moved these two to very different places, I then had to try and use all the bricks I have because I live in Hong Kong and I don't have a spare supply of bricks. So I had to only use the ones that were in the two sets to completely cover the base. And I think I did a pretty good job. The actual ring is attached by these two rods here. This is like a doubled up rod. This is sort of twice as long and uses one of the transparent rods instead of just black. And on the bottom, I kept two of these circles either side and then two of these longer pieces. I ran a load of these grids. I tried to like be fun with having the dark ones next to the black bricks or having some with only dark bricks, some with dark and silver in sort of like a symmetrical design almost. And yeah, I had, I had quite a lot of fun with it. They fit together very nicely. This one's a little bit loose and I think with a little more tinkering I could get this gap filled in. But for now, I think it looks great. It slots in actually very snugly, like so. Because these are fixed on ball joints, you have a lot more playability with what you can do. And then we'll go through the biomes, I guess. We've got the jungle. I wanted to double up and make sort of like a really dense forest. I added some extra mountain pieces and then one of the sentinels on top of the forest. The mountains in Hong Kong are just 100% green. So I kind of thought they were like little Hong Kong mountains. And then two rocky base plates locks it together. I had some rocks coming off the forest. These two are sort of like the original designs for the Foreigner Ring installation. I added a couple of things like this extra little tower here. I like it's got sort of like an eyepiece and two of these, sort of the, the top of the auditorium, but I use them as sort of like wings or extensions to his body. And then the transparent rod is still coming out of this one, but I decided to just grid it off and close off that support there. Because these two are quite similar to the original design, these two are the ones that I focused on. I added some red here. I think this is like a banished camp. I mean, it's the same color as the Banished Banshee, so it works nicely. This is some kind of fortification. And then I added this new structure here that has two beams coming off it. Maybe it's some kind of like comms tower. You can decide. It's all guesswork here. And then I made a new kind of auditorium, but I added a flame on the top of it. This flame was actually from Bam Bam Productions. Thank you very much. And this is some sort of like fuel deposit station. It's burning fuel to power the whole ring. Your imagination can actually go wild with like, what all these little things are. I've had a lot of fun building it, and I'm gonna have even more fun building an entire ring as well. It's gonna be a really cool project. Please do let me know in the comments if you have put two rings together or more, and what your success story was, what you learned. I'm sure you'll see this project grow even more into the future. This was another short video with The Domain. I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. You stay awesome out there. Enjoy all the ring series. Check out my snap build and my review, and the ring, is signing off. Da, 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 da.